have another question. Speaking of Jesus, was Jesus in India ever? Dali, well, Dali uh, Jesus next to the Bio in India. <laughs> I know there are a lot of uh, versions uh, about Jesus traveling to India, uh, getting enlightened and all that. I always tell one thing. Now your reality, current reality, is that I am sitting in front of you and I am talking. What I was 10 years ago is of no relevance to you in any way. What I will be Ten years later is of no relevance to you at this point in time. I always consider Jesus' relevance as his message to the world. So that what he was before and what he did later may not apply in the larger. It's an academic interest issue. It's a it's a thing to understand intellectually. But value-wise, value-wise his messages are the main thing. And that he stopped at the cross. He, he gave the message saying that I am not the body, I am not the mind, I am not the intellect, I am the consciousness and me and my father are one. That was his message. And he shook the conscience of the then society and the further societies by his exit. So I would say that the relevance of a guru or a master is the message and the time when he is delivering the message. So, I would say his life is about seven years where he was actually delivering messages. Samo u nekom smislu njegove karme ili ukoliko bi se bavili time, onda bi imalo nekog značaja to što je on radio u svom životu. Htjela bi da nam Mokanđe više nešto kaže o karmi, našoj ličnoj. Da li mi moramo baš da prođemo sva iskutva ili ima neki način, kako god nešto, da možemo i da prelazit ćemo, da kažem da prosto tamo se vrtimo u istom krugu nešto kao te samskare, stavno jedne te iste situacije, znači prosto vidim po sebi, vreme prolazi, ja nešto radim na podle duhovnosti, ali sporo ide kao da ne mogu da prevazit će neke stvari. I think I need five days to talk about it. Like I was telling yesterday, yesterday's pizza is for five days, so... This question is sufficient for five days. <laughs> well, I'll try to cut it short. Uh, the karma that provoked your birth in this life. Karma is chosen, is desired before you started the journey. Or, in other words, you made your roadmap from the first heartbeat to the last heartbeat before you started the journey. After the death, when the soul leaves, soul picks up the constitution that we operated in, including the basic basics of character, the essence of desires and also habits and certain characteristics which constituted you in this life as it leaves the body. And uh, I, 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 I met her, probably I don't know whether you were in my last program, but I always say evolution does not stop at death. That is spiritual evolution continues through death, through the next birth, through the next death. So it's a continuous process, you're not stopping anywhere. This physical body is finished, it's gone, but again 
spiritual evolution continues. Духовный развой наследуется из живота в живот и когда все заправо истружит, то есть не останется наше физическое тело. So, uh, when the soul, I'm talking about normal death, not suicide or murder, that's different for me. But a person normally dies, the soul leaves and it goes to the astral plane, the first world, which is like a, like the, your uh, lounge in the airport, waiting for the flight, that place. <laughs> Kada duža napusti telo, potpredo sam ne se radi o prirodnoj smrti, ne govorimo sam o visu ili o visu, onda one u astralni nivu, to je kao na aerodromu mjestu za smrti od koji čeka da presu. Once there, same like here, we are discussing now aspects of karma between you and I and the people. Like that, there are masters, who are, who are there, their only job is to help the souls. They come forward, ask you, my child, what do you feel? <laughs> you had a life, are you happy? You have brought forward some baggage, what would you like to do with it? Živao si život, ponav si neki prtljak, šta želiš da uradiš sa njim? If you say, I would like to experience more, then they help you to list it out, organize it properly. Dakle, ono što treba da iskusiti u školnom životu sa 20 godina treba tad i da se desi. U tom smislu majstori organizuju vaš put. Dakle, ne možete ono što se treba iskusiti sa 20 godina da iskusite so this planning includes all, all aspects of your life. The planning includes your life as a person, a life in relation to other people, other souls, and in, in, in relation to society and the country. So the karma becomes an extended karma. That means you started, as, started from the astral plane into the womb of a womb, woman, as a unique karma, but the moment you landed up there, then you start, you have a mother, you have a father, you have relatives, you have society, you have teachers, masters, bosses, everything. So, as we move parallel to karma, whether you like it or not, whatever you have to or you had to experience at a particular time, in a particular space, with a particular set of people, will happen, should happen and have to happen. So, the free will existed when you were there in the astral plane before you started the journey. Once you started the journey, the travel agent decides. So, free will ends at the astral world. This moment the journey starts, time takes over. Here, the travel agent is the time. Time takes over, and time takes you through situations. You might be born in one place, you go into another place, you meet a person, you may get married, the children, all sorts of things. This is all configured according to time. Zapravo vreme preuzimate i vaš put, to je plan, u smislu da se sve dešava u određenom vremenu, bilo da ste se uvedeli dobri deti i sve situacije. So when we take a vow that I want to be with this man for the next seven lifetimes, be careful. <laughs> so, did you understand how it was? 
So basically, karma, what determines your birth, is your primary karma. Karma koja određuje vaše rođenje je vaša osnovna karma. Then, you, you came forward, basic requirement was to exhaust your desires. That is why you took the journey, isn't it? You had desire to experience certain things, express certain things. This is why you are here. But what happens in the middle? You found something else more interesting and you started also accumulating desires. This free will you definitely have in accumulating desires. You can and you you can accumulate more desires or you can desire not to have them. So as you go further and further, when you have more and more desires, especially of the negative nature, like for example, if somebody scolds you, somebody abuses you, you will definitely remember. Right? And there could be hatred, there could be anger, there could be revenge in our system. This is definitely stored intact, you know. The good things may not be stored so much well, but the bad things we definitely keep in our mind. So, this provokes me further births. What we store, what we could not experience, what new desires we have accumulated, decides the next lives, further lives. So how do we get rid of bad karma? Yeah. How do we cleanse our? our I, I was not sure whether I, I was not sure whether that part was there in the question. Now I will answer. Yeah, that's that's yeah. yeah. Well, to get rid of karma, first is prevention. Again, as I said, prevention is the first level. You have to prevent from accumulation. The prevention is data is being entered into our system in three levels. First is the food and the body level. Second is the emotions in the mind level and the knowledge into the intellect level. We are constantly feeding data into our system. And uh, this data have to be exhausted, like otherwise the hard drive will crash. So prevention. How do you prevent? Be conscious, be aware in all levels. That means in the body level, when you consume food, you eat food, be with the food fully, not watch the TV. You know, when you watch the TV, only watch the TV, so that the data entry is restricted or more modulated. And when you have control that way, that means you are, I'm not telling you to suppress desires. That's not the point here. Do not suppress. Do not suppress anything. If you have a desire to have a tea, have a tea. So that that desire is satisfied. So go from one step to the other or go through time by fulfilling, not suppressing. <laughs> Sometimes 
suppression is only postponement it never goes out of the system ukoliko podiskujemo želje to će nas samo odložiti njihovo ispunjenje nećemo to izbaciti iz svog sistema so being aware of your thought word action reduces the input svesnovanje vaših misli reči i dela smanjuje Eating with awareness reduces the intake. Ukoliko jedemo svesno, onda ćemo manju količinu. Emotions. You can experience emotions, but do not be emotional. Što se tiče emocija, treba da proživljavamo emocije, ali ne i da budemo emotivni. Being not emotional means, I'm not saying not be sensitive or don't be insensitive. You feel and do something about it. Don't store it. Ne kažem da treba da budemo bezosećajni, treba da osjećamo i da uradimo nešto u vezi toga, ali ne i da to čuvamo u sebi. Remember one thing very clearly. Whatever we are experiencing today or any day is created by us. This experience is chosen by us. Zapamtite da sve ono što proživljavamo sada, to neće da brani. Ta iskusa smo sami imali. But you have the power to minimize it, dilute it. Ali imamo moći da to umanjimo. This is also why we always talk about good company, satsang. Satsang means good company. Company of higher beings. So that they, they guide you to higher levels. So when you are in the company of higher beings, the lower drops off. Before you enter into satsang, that means good company, you have to avoid bad company. What is bad company? The company that pulls you down, the people who gives you negativity, the people or the situations that makes you tired, drained and incapacitated. We have to avoid bad company. Bad means don't, not the word meaning bad. Company which doesn't suit us is bad for us. Correct? The food that does not suit us is bad for us. That way. The company that brings you up, makes you feel better, and helps you to see higher things, this is good for you. The company that pulls you down, blames you, or makes you tired, or drains you, your energy, is not good for you. So this is the primary understanding we should have while operating in the society. When we say bad society, I think bad society is a society that does not respect you, as the other people who respect you do not respect you. So bad society is a society that does not respect us, koje je negativno, koje trpi našu energiju. Dobro društvo je svako koje podiže naše njivo sredstvo, koje nas podiže za general. These are all elementary for reduction of karma or prevention of accumulation of karma. So, when you are conscious about your activities, like the food you consume, the thoughts you are having, the data that you enter as knowledge in our system, Sometimes we follow books and we discount our own experience. This is the worst you can do to yourself. So prevention. And second thing is that how do you dilute your current karma? Accepting it. Whatever is happening, accept them as it is. I'm not telling you to be a doormat. 
and get kicks from everyone. That's not the point. The point is, okay, this is my reality now. Let me handle it. So use your intellect more than emotion in every situation, which prevents accumulation of further karma and it makes it easier to handle the current situation. Using intellect is a very good idea, not emotion. Emotion makes you angry or emotion makes you react to situations. Intellect only makes you respond. Huge difference. Zapravo da biste rešili karma, je vrlo važno da u situacijama u kojima smo koristimo razum, a ne da idemo na pa emocijama, zato što onda smo podloženi da budemo i ljuti i besni razum, je najbolji način da prolazimo kroz sve situacije, zapravo koristit ću svoj intelekt. So, if you are less reacting in the world, the more peaceful you are. Što manje zapravo reagujete na stvari, to ste mirni. This is the first level of defense which you can create for yourself, which is noble. To je prvi nivo odbrane na neki način koji možete za sebe da napravite. And if you are able to to secure yourself by not reacting, even relationships becomes easier. The quality of relationships that we have in life becomes more clear and clarified. People will not mess with you. I'm not saying do not feel. Definitely feel. But respond using intellect, not emotion. So this is possible. These are all things which you can do yourself. You don't need any guide. And also, the internal peace that you achieve, nobody else can understand. Only you will know. Unutrašnji mir koji vi na taj način možete da dostinete, ne mora niko drugi da zna, samo vi ćete biti toga svega. So, first is prevention. Prevention is being aware of what you do. Second is acceptance of your current reality, not in a tame way, like we talked about surrender. Not in a tame way, but with awareness, okay, this is what is happening now, let me handle it. Not blaming, not criticizing, not judging anybody or any situation or yourself. Then, the intensity of karma becomes less. This passion happens. That means a thing is here, or a person is here, or a situation is here, or not, you are fine. Internal peace is more important, more relevant, and that is plenty in you. Externally, whatever happens, nothing can unsettle you. It makes you peaceful. Sve vam može biti dostupno, ali to više nema tu važnost za vas i vi osjećate samo unutrašnji mir. I wanted to explain to you the whole context. Now in four lines, Adi Shankaracharya had talked about liberation. That is, Sat Sangatve, Nis Sangatva. That means, with the help of good company, you become detached. Adi Shankaracharya je rekao da uz pomoć dobrog društva, to je u dobrom društvu, vi postajete oslobođeni, to je nevjeda. Once you attain detachment, when detachment happens, desirelessness happens. So, this Sankatve, this Mohatva, that means desireless state, takes place by itself because you are detached about various things around you. 
Ukoliko raskinete vezanost i niste više vezani za razne stvari koje vas okružuju, onda se dešava i to stanje zapravo bez želje, nemate više nikakve želje. Well, nir mohatva, that means desirelessness happens within. Nishchalatatva, mind becomes stable, unmoving, peaceful. Kada stanje bez želje i želje to dođe iznutra, onda i vaš um postaje stavno animiran. And when mind becomes stable, Jeevan Mukti, liberation happens from the birth and death cycle. So when in a stable mind, which cannot be shaken by anything, peace is settling in or peace is the operating level, then you are completely liberated while living and while leaving both. Onda se oslobodite od ciklusa rođenja i smrti. Dakle, postajete potpuno oslobodni i u životu, ali i u trenutku napuštenja od tega. So, nishchala tatve, jivan mukti. That means liberation happens when you have a settled mind. Oslobodjenje se događa kada je vaš umiran. For the mind to settle, you need to have stillness with it. To have stillness, you need to have detachment or desirelessness. For desirelessness, you need detachment. That means there is a tea available or not available, I am fine. A person is available or not available, I am fine. A situation is available or not available, I am fine. I am beyond all this. Da bi se dotrilo to stanje oslobođenja, treba da se raskine vezanost i sa situacijama i sa ljudima, to je da se dotrije to stanje bez želja bilo, da su ljudi dostupni ili da je nešto dostupni ili ne, mi se osjećamo mirni. So the operating level changes from selfish or self-centeredness to purpose and purposefulness. Dakle, menja se naš nivu delovanja sa delovanja koje je usmenano ka sebi i nekog sebičnog delovanja ka ispunjavanju svoje svrhe. This is why most religions and most teachers insist on serving the poor, the needy, the animals, the birds or doing selfless service because this helps detachment. Zato religije insistiraju na tome da se nesebično pomaže drugima u glasnima bolestima, onima kojima je pomoć potrebna, jer se na taj način najbolje raskrije to reći. I'm conscious that when squash strike down, when there's an even... Yeah, and you said to be in satsang, but is there anything else? I mean, does it just get reflected back to you? Because I feel like it's there, but I don't know what it is. So, as I had said last earlier, that every cell is potentially a storehouse. So all of our past actions, thoughts, words have impressions situated, situated or lying in the cellular level. This is what we call cellular memory. And cellular memory can be cleansed with the presence of higher masters. But that's probably the last one. Through your own cleansing by conscious awareness, number one. Čelijsko pamćenje se zapravo briše u prisutstvu viših majstora, ali to je na posljednjem mestu. Prvo i najvažnije je da stalno budemo svesni ono što radimo. Conscious awareness also means being objective and being a witness of your own thoughts, words and actions. That means you are watching yourself doing things. Means as a witness. 
Dakle, da mi budemo svedok sami sebi, budemo svedok naših misli, reči i dela, da budemo, da svesnujemo sve ono što nam se dešava. This means you are not bound by emotions, you are not bound by situations, you are not bound by people. That the, the peace and happiness which you are eligible for lies within you, not in the hands of the situation or the people. So, uh, when you are in control of your existence, or at least you are in you are aware of your existence in all levels, like thoughts, words and actions. Many of them escape you. Many of them leave from your system. That means uh, you are watching yourself acting, you are, you are watching yourself speaking, but at the same time you are not involved. You are operating very well, but you are not involved. This is kind of a perpetual meditation. And uh, when you, you are in that kind of mode, the impacts are less. Next is that through some exercises such as what we did this morning, the ventilation, hyperventilation. That means you you hyperventilate and expand the consciousness or expand the the or uh, uh, bring the energy of prana to your cellular level, many things escape you. So this is the second. Third is that we do chanting, various types of chanting helps cleansing. This is number three. And four is the company of masters, saints, higher people burns so many things without your knowledge because they can see through, understand your constitution and take things off provided they are operating from a higher plane they are connected to the source Lower chakras, lower elements. 
and who is about stability, stabilization, and um is about dissolution. All your identities dissolve and merge with the consciousness, large consciousness. Zvuk ma tako predstavlja obilje u fizičkom životu i povezano je sa nižim čakrama. Zatim u predstavlja održavanje tog obilja i ima zapravo rastvaranje u višu svijetu. So when you combine them, it's like birth, survival and death. Or it's like the waking state and the dream state and the deep sleep state. So it's all correlated. Our existence and the mantra is correlated. It's connected. To je kao rođenje, život i smrt, ili budno stanje, san i stanje dubog sna, sve je tako povezano. So if you feel your spine and say, <laughs> it's not only your system, but the environment also responds or it gets reflected even in the environment around you. So cleansing not only happens within you, but outside of you as well. Did you get that? See, we can we can see in, in our life, most people have experienced. When we are good and powerful, we are rich or we have sufficient money, there will be a lot of friends. But when we do not have sufficient money or when we are not going through the right things, many of them leave you. Just like that, when your energy level grows up, when it becomes powerful, when you are deeply connected to the consciousness of a guru, many negativities goes, drops off by itself. Isto tako kada ste sasvim duboko povezani sa gurom, mnogi negativnosti će sama iz tebe nestati. There was a princess, a very beautiful lady, and she fell in love with a man whom she thought is a very nice, benevolent man who could become the prince. Bila je jedna vrlo lepa princesa koja se zaljubila u jednog dobronadrnog inog monka koji ne mogao biti princ. So she went and told her father, I found my man and I would like to marry him. So the father did not, he was not emotional. He said, okay, you can marry him, but you will not get the position, he will not get the position and you will be thrown out of the palace and uh, you will have to live with him and you will get no facilities or the position or the money from the palace. I rekao je, možeš da se udaš, ali nećeš više imati ni taj položaj, nećeš uživati bilo kakve oličice, nećeš više imati novac i zvatit ćemo te sa govorom. So, she said, no problem, it's okay, my love is more powerful than the riches. I ona je rekla, nema problema, moja ljubav je snažnija od tog bogata. So she went and told her boyfriend that uh, I'm, my father agrees for the marriage. The only condition is that I'll get nothing from the palace. So 
he said, then I don't need you. <laughs> so this is, the father was actually testing whether this is a real guy or not. But the daughter did not understand. But the truth always comes out. So in front of truth, when you get closer to truth, when you get closer to the reality, or when you get closer to the higher energy, the negative stuff drops off. But there will be tests. There will be definitely tests in life. Before, without testing, nothing drops off. Did you understand? So negativity is automatically goes off. But one more thing, there is a beauty about negativity. Number one, it gives you the duality. It, it tells you the other side. And when you, when there is the no negativity, you do not understand positiveness either. So, when you cons when you consider when you are encountering negativity, you understand what is not negative is positive, and this is much better. But in spiritual path, you can see all over the world, people get addicted to a personality called Guru or a guide or, or God who is in the body, in the living form. So, when there is a personality or when there is a body, the body has to go with time, as we discussed earlier. It is running parallel in time. There will be changes happening in the body. There will be changes happening in the mind. There will be changes happening in the intellect. In outlook, in, comp in uh, uh, character, all these things happen to everyone. Whether he is a guru or a disciple, doesn't matter. Time changes things. So when we are so addicted to the personality, when there is changes happening in that personality, we become disillusioned. So it is very, very, very important to connect to the consciousness and the teaching, not the personality. We can even see people become suicidal when a guru dies. They do not know what to do next. Because the man is gone. It is important to understand the message. It's important to understand the consciousness. And connect to the consciousness, not the personality. This is a message which is very, very important for any seeker in any spiritual path. Well, uh, our the data that we enter is the result that we produce. 
ono što mi nesemo u svoj sistem je zapravo i rezultat. So, if the data that we enter to create a life is distorted or unclear, that kind of result will happen in life. So, if, if a disease or illness uh, have to be encountered, see there is a correction possible. That is why we have regression therapies today. It takes you to past lives and it cures things from the root. So, going to the root is very important to solve an issue because you cannot solve an issue from the superficial level or ephemeral level. You see, um, imagine a ship is at the port unloading cement. So when the cement is being unloaded, a few uh, bits and pieces are falling into the sea. The original depth of the sea, let's say, just for say, 16 meter. The cement is falling every year from many ships. Finally, after some time, it grows up. The depth is reduced, right? And after some time, it can be, become 30 meter. After some time, 10 meter, because it's increasing. Why I said cement is because cement stays in one place. <laughs> i svaki put im malo toga zapravo pada u more, čiji je dobina 16 metara. Vremenom, kako su mnogi brodovi tu dolazili, dobina će se naravno smanjiti na 13 metara, pa na 10. Likewise, many, many lifetimes of activity, through thoughts, through words, through actions, drops the residue into our system. And where is it all falling? on the earth level and the water level, that is the lower two chakras, they become completely cordoned off, like completely suffocated. Mnogo emocija i doživljaja iz mnogo prethodnih života zapravo pada kao taj cement na dno mora, pada na naše donje dve čakre i to ih prosto potapa vremena. So many times you can see that because these lower chakras are so congested, you cannot think beyond the limits or you cannot uh, operate in any dimensions apart from this uh, uh, physical. What happens? Life becomes kind of routine. Means same thing what you did or what you experienced in another life becomes a replica in this life. Same things, almost similar, same in the sense similar, or same similar emotions, similar feelings, similar relationships, similar situations, again photocopied to another life. This goes like this because the energy flow is very bad, very well. I mean, it's distracted or, or, or distorted. So, in that level, if you have to operate, there are certain, again, breath helps, you know, breathing helps. So, Breathing in certain levels, certain kind of uh, uh, combination of breathing helps to recycle the energy. And it's like a, you have to scrape and scrape and scrape because it's lifetimes. You have to scrape and scrape and then you have to bring forth the hope, the original energy, the original pattern. Then you are powerful. Then you can change things. Otherwise you are so dense and so in, 
incapacitated in the lower region. Lower region is not, don't, don't look at the physical lower. It also works on the ethereal body or the, the higher, the, every dimension. Because it's all reflection, you know. So it's not just physically, but physical is the only thing you can touch and do something. Disanje, pravilno disanje zapravo može da se oslobodi tog talova iz prethodnih života koji se nalazi na donjim čakrama. Ne misli se samo da donje čakra je našem fizičkom telu i sve posmatrati ukupno, ali u tom fizičkom smislu, to jest jedno na fizičkom telu možemo da uradimo nešto i da delujemo tako, da se oslobodimo tog talova i da je energija prostora. So, the exercise that you did in the morning, that is the breath, the capitalist breath, is a good, good way of changing the constitution. Then there are many other systems, such as uh, there are systems which uh, you need uh, guidance from a, a teacher, which is like breathing from the front to the top and back. Like, a, you know, there is a sign, Shivalinga, like the atomic reservoir. You can see this shape. Like Shivalinga, so from to the top to the back, and from back you bring it all up until the mouth you fix it. So like this, there are certain combination breathing, certain certain things to recycle the energy. So the energy which normally goes out or normally get distorted is recycled in in one motion, like it's all smooth, and then it's it's preserved inside. Then what happens is the entry of negative will be first of all blocked and second is that the spending of energy is controlled but we will not enter into all that now because these are this needs constant guidance constant uh, uh, supervision for practicing you cannot just say please do it because it, if it becomes a bit off the track somebody need to guide you right so but i'm just giving you the idea there are systems and practices which helps Ovo disanje koje smo radili minuto sad do minama, disanje bez prekida i jedan od načina da se ponovno spostavi energija, može se inače disati i od korena kičme do skroz do glave i nazad ili to onda poboljšava da je protok energije, energija ide kružno i sve se odvija svojim tokom, ali za to je potrebno da nas neko prati i da prosto vratite i naš proces i da nas nadgleda, jer to ne smo sami. So there are various techniques, but I think this breathing of gapless will help a lot in cleansing. And when cleansing happens, it will take time. Please don't think that it can happen. Like for example, awareness of your thought, word and action will take time. But at least start, so that eventually, over a period of time, take your time, because we are not trying to compare with anybody. Take your time, and eventually, you will attain. Za to je potrebno vreme, i za to disanje koje smo radili, ali i za predstavanje misli, reči i dela, ne treba za nisakim upoređivati, jednostavno idite svojim tempom i doći ćete. In certain uh, cases, the gurus take over, but that happens when the disciple is just, that is the factor which is blocking the progress, the guru takes over, so the progress happens. But you, when people come with a lot of junk, the guru cannot take over, he will die. <laughs> Tu blokado može da prosto preuzme guru i da to onda dovede tragaoca do tog napredka na dugovnom putu. Ukoliko ipak neko dođe sa previše negativnosti, nije moguće da guru to sve jednom da ga reši tog tereta, zato što bi i guru umro bilo bi previše negativno. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, just to ask you if you possibly just talk the difference between monole and mononash. Monole and uh, mononash. Uh, well, um, you 
wanted to know the difference between Manoj Gai and Manoj Nash. Okay. See, um, the utility of the mind is for expression and experience. When detachment is absolute, the mind will dissolve into the consciousness. You cannot say mind has exited completely. It just dissolved. Like, we, like uh, you dissolved some sugar into the milk. The sugar has not disappeared completely. The flavor stays. But when you do not have a requirement for mind at all, for example, you are not coming back to this plane of existence, you are, de you are decided to operate in a plane beyond or uh, much higher than the astral, for example, where mind has no value. Mind has value when there is a material. You know, material plus mind has value. But material, without material, mind has no value. That time, it's complete destruction. So from dissolution, it becomes nullified. A state happens when there is no nullification. But that state can be ex can be ex uh, can happen in a state of avadhuta also, when you are in complete detachment. Um, there are 7 billion people and 7 billion constitution. Each constitution is different from the other. Uh, this is also because of the free will which each person experienced at some point in time before the birth. So, uh, the variety is the beauty of expression. If everybody are saying it's monotonous, there is no creation, there is no creativity expressed. So, who created the creation? You know, you have to go backwards quite a lot. That means, what you are expressing today is a result of your own creation. And you are a creation of different creation. So, if you go backwards in creation, the time you first took your body, then you desired so many different things, experiences, expressions, and then you took further bodies. So, first was you as a creation, then you became a creator, and then you created creations. Like this the circle goes. In other words, first time you came to earth and desired to experience earth, so you need a body, correct? To feel, to see, to understand and to express. So, you took one body, then you started experiencing, and then you wanted to experience more, so you took further bodies. Like this, many times over, you took bodies. Like that, 7 billion people did the same. So, nobody is interfering in your desires. Even now, you look at today, 
you want to have a particular experience or you wanted to sit in this room and listen to me. Nobody interfered or nobody said don't do that. So likewise, I'm not a good people, but any any higher entity, God didn't, didn't tell you don't do this. Your soul didn't tell you don't do this. So you're, you, you are expressing, you are feeling or you are getting something, you are experiencing. This is happening and this can lead to either further liberation or further desires or in whichever combination, it doesn't matter. So each person, each moment is creating a new reality. So this is how the creation continues. The creation creates further creations and it continues. And sometimes the consciousness, or most of the times, consciousness levels are di different. We do not know, we do not understand what we are creating. But because of the data entry, because of our levels of consciousness, that kind of creation happens, such as a software in a computer can only give a result which it is capable of, right? So likewise, it continues. So seven billion people have seven billion thumb impressions. There is nobody else like you. Why this uniqueness is because we are handmade, not not a factory product. <laughs> Why handmade is because our own constitution creates created us. Our own desires created us. So each one is different. The same food I serve in this room will taste different to different people. This is why we have to accept ourselves the way we are. There is no choice. We can very well say, oh, if only I was somebody else, it would have been better. But that somebody else also have his or her own problems. Uh, the first desire to come here would be from the soul. Because soul is fed up of this birth and death. Soul is uh, fed up of the journey, continuous journey and tired because we are keeping on taking birth and death and there is no sign of any stopping. So it takes two people saying that please help. But if you do not have eligibility, you will not understand. Like for example, if you are sitting in fifth class and the tenth class teacher came and started teaching the tenth class books, it's of no use. Um, evolution is a process beyond death and beyond birth. When you leave the body, 
when the soul leaves the body with a bunch of desires, let's say which are not substantial and goes to the astral plane. And when you go to the astral plane, as I said, there is a discussion happening between masters and the soul. The question is, would you like to go back? Телело със своим тим жаря макало посляво, заправо се разговара с майсторима и питаме е дали жали да се дали на тук. На астрално плане. If the answer is well, I'm not too sure. I have this bunch of desires, but I don't know whether I should take another birth for it. In that case, sometimes, if it's a free will, it's nullified. It's not bad. Again, what next? This has to be decided. When uh, in the astral plane, when you discuss with the masters, master asks the question, do you want to go back? Do you want to experience whatever you have chosen? If the answer is no, I'm fine, I don't need to go back, then you have to decide what next. If you're not going back, it is nullified because that list of things are deleted. But what next? You cannot stay in the lounge forever, you know. Either you have to get out of the airport or take a flight. <laughs> Колико мајстор пита душо дали шта се со тим желима, дали жели да се врати назад и поново тоа проживи, колико е одговорен не, онда се тоа листа поништа. И пита се, и пита се шта тој не пита шта сад. Да, и пита нешто сад. So, if they say, okay, I'm, I do not want, but there is, there is a possibility. Even in astral plane, you can be a staff in the airport if you are eligible for that. <laughs> that means you can help the masters to help the new souls. Тоа значи да можеш да помагаш и духовно мајстору да он помаже нови душа. That is also a possibility, and then it may not be a continuous possibility. It may say that okay, you have done enough. That is a non-karmic possibility. There is no karma towards it. Меѓутоа тоа не може да траи и само. Може да речеме дека доволно е било. И то не е кармички, не е за кармо. So you could exist in the astral plane as long as you like, not a problem, because you are a staff. Кога посните дека особи да не е, но тоа не може да на астрално ниво помага ти колико може. Again, there is retirement, means you have had enough, but astral plane is not going parallel to time, so you have. You don't have to count on time, but you you become kind of okay. I have done enough. Then you could further you could be further elevated to other planes. Where it's uh, beingness, only beingness, no doingness. These are these are all possibilities, but these are only for academic interest, basically, because in daily life, how do we use them? Uh, 
Yeah, Astro Plane is your lounge of the airport. So it's a resting place before the flight and uh, after the flight. So it is definitely your aim to go beyond the airport. Da, 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 da